wash all the holiness away. Hi, it's your favorite girl with the no filter and the half eyebrow. So this uh, this installment is a little bit late. Um, I've been kind of busy with some other projects here lately. Um, and also I got oral surgery that I'm still healing up from. So, you know, I woke up today and I was like, it's been so long. It's been a while since I did a video. I think it's time that I do a video. <laughs> so here we are. You may be wondering, okay, well, what are we doing today? Because the last time we did, did we do LJ and EJ and then Ben and yeah. Yes, we did. Well, today we're going to do a casual mix look of Slenderman and Jeff the Killer. And let's see how well this goes. I feel like shit. So, I'm so gonna have to bear with the fact that my headband is going to be perfectly sliding off this video very slowly. I'm trying to get over it, but it's fine. I washed off the holiness and put on some moisturizer, and yeah, trying to get rid of that dry, flaky skin. Also, I broke down and bought a lot of new makeup for this video because I started realizing I was like, holy shit. My makeup looks horrendous. So I just, I, I had a spree and we're gonna be using a lot of new makeup. Like 99% of it is new. So um, I didn't get very many questions about the products I was using, understandable, because you guys probably wanna, would wanna stay away from it. Um, but today I'm going to try and remember and let my medicated brain take the reins to tell you which products I'm actually using. So bear with me. If you guys are curious about what I'm using, you can always comment on this video and I will do my best to remember. And uh, yeah, so let's get into this. The first thing new, the, the, ha, ha, the first new thing that I bought uh, was the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I had heard a lot about it um, and I was like, you know what, it's cheap as hell. I'm gonna use it. And as you can see, I've been using it. So I'm gonna put that where I think I don't have pores. Get off my eyelash. Yeah, healing puppet strings is is a whole new character that you that you guys have not yet been exposed to. Um, I get really sassy, and if you follow my Twitter, you already know how sassy I have been. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So I'm not entirely sure how much of this stuff you're supposed to use. Um, I just go with it. I'm thinking poreless putty. So I think, okay, put a lot on, right? Yeah, cause that always works. The next thing that I bought that is actually better than what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a waste of money. I don't really know why, but it, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was between, I don't really remember. I bought a lot of stuff. I think it was between, I think like seven to $12. It's in that range, but it's the uh, NYX Color Corrector Palette Thingama, thingama thing. Son of a bitch. Yeah. I got it. This one, I'm, I'm actually very surprised that, that this, this thing is, is pretty freaking awesome. And there wasn't necessarily much of a guide to like use it, but I've been using it for a little bit now. And I think I've kind of figured out how I like to use it. I'm not saying that it's the right way because it likely is not. So we're just gonna slap some on my face. As far as I was made aware, the reddish thing is for like under eyes and the green is just for red spots, which as you can see, I kind of, yeah, I, I got some texture. So we're gonna start with the under eyes because why not? I do put more on later. Now, I don't know about people with deeper skin tones. Um, 
if I remember correctly, this is like the only kind of correcting thing they have. And I don't know if it works on deeper skin tones, but if it does not, they really need to change that. Cause I am horrendously, disgustingly pale. So, and it, it blends in really well to my skin. So as you can see, it, it looks pretty good. Like there's quite a difference. And then when you, you know, you plaster four pounds of concealer and foundation like we're fixing to do, it looks even better. So what I like to do with this is I kind of get like, you know, a good bit on there with this kind of foundation, but look at that. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Nyx, if you want to sponsor me, you, you can. I mean, I'm not gonna fight you or anything. I just use this brush to just get it on there. I'm not using it to blend. This, this brush is more of a throw it on there kind of brush. It's not really like a, like, I guess you could blend with it, but you know, I am not a skilled makeup artist and I never have been and I never will be. I just blended it in with my fingers. Uh, I hate doing that, but for some reason, I've tried a brush with this um, NYX product. I've tried a sponge and neither of them look as good as you do with your fingers. I don't know why. Just aggressively tap that into your existence. See, it looks pretty good. There, there's a little bit of settling in there. Now, then I take the green, which is supposed to be for like, you know, red, like red pigments. I know it looks kind of funny, but I have found putting this on before you do anything else is actually the best. And that just works for my skin. It may be different for you if you get this product, that is. It looks weird at first. Like I, I did not think that this was gonna look good, but it does and it does melt into the skin. I just let it sit. I, I don't like, go ahead and plaster all my war paint on. Probably not how you're supposed to use this brush, by the way. It is pretty blendable um, when you're putting it on. It's not too bad, actually. This isn't a makeup review. I don't know why I'm like talking about these products like I'm reviewing them. <laughs> I am not a makeup review channel. But then again, I like to do a lot of different things on my channel that isn't like, I don't like chaining myself down to one thing. Um, I know I did used to do a lot of creepypasta stuff and I still do have plans on doing that, um, but not as much. There's other things that I have planned for all different types of entertainment. And here lately I've been getting more and more into makeup and I used to, I used to not be that way. I really used to not be that way. And now I know how to do it a little bit better, a little. So I'm just kind of targeting all the red spots, which in my case is my entire face. So, okay. So now I've got, I've got it plastered on. So now I just kind of tap it in. You don't have to blend it perfectly, but just enough where it's kind of like, doesn't look like you intentionally slapped just some green ass pigment on your No, I don't do anything with it from there. So you get to deal with my green face for like a good half of this video. It's funny, I spend the money I don't have on, on makeup that I probably don't need, but I forget to restock <laughs> that I do need. I do like this primer. I just, I don't know. It, it's kind of, it's, you got to work fast with it. That's, that's like my only qualm with it. My only cool. Like if you don't work fast with it, it just dries down and it kinda, it just, you can see the line, you know? And it sucks cause for me, it's, I buy, with eye primers, I try to buy translucent, but as you can see, even on my pale ass skin, it's, it's still got a pigment. <laughs> I used to really hate my pale skin, but I don't know. You know, I used to be super self-conscious about it, but I, I don't know. I think, uh, I think I've accepted my superpower of being able to blend in with snow and glow and sunlight. So I guess, you know, that's okay, I guess. I'm such a fucking hypocrite, man. Because with somebody, like a fan, you know, I'll, I'll put a selfie on, on Instagram and they're like, man, I wish I was as pretty as you. I was like, all right, get the big guns. 
this bitch really thinks that they're not pretty. I'm kidding, by the way. You guys are not bitches. Unless you want to be, in which case, I'm not gonna stop you from, from what you want to be. I mean, I support you, but I'm personally joking. You're not a bitch to me. So, as you can tell, I just, I recently um, trimmed my eyebrows and I've been getting a lot of mixed reviews <laughs> on my eyebrows. I actually really like them. I'm, I'm very happy with them <laughs> and I should have done it earlier. The, the, what do they call them, Spock eyebrows? I fell in love with them. They make my face look so much better. They don't right now. Now I just look like some ass Shiva in you, but, but, but when they're done, they look really good. And I just, mm, I love it. Before we get into eyebrows, I wanted to show that I bought a palette. Um, if you guys remember, I dyed my hair green. I bought a green palette to match my hair. It was the worst piece of shit I had ever used in my life. So I, out of anger and 3 a.m. impulse shopping, I bought this. This is on Amazon. If you guys want the link to buy it, I will happily give it to you because this is like $7 and it's the best shit I have ever used. Um, I have their other palette. It's just an, it's like an eyeshadow book. I use it a lot and I had it in my old video, older video with Ben. This one is like a booklet type thing and it has, you know, like a bunch of colors. Had a lot of colors I didn't have as well. So if you guys want, if you guys want the link to that, please let me know in the comments and I will happily give it to you. It is budget friendly and it's the best freaking palette I, I think I've ever used. And I have bought very expensive palettes in my day. Nobody make fun of me when I don't have my eyebrows on. See, you see what I'm talking about? It looks pretty good. It looks good for my face shape. I like it. Uh, but nobody make fun of me because when I don't have my makeup on, this one is shorter. The OGs of my channel will know that I once had an eyebrow piercing and it migrated horribly. So I had to take it out. And the OGs also know that I used to be a piercer. So when I saw it was migrating, I was like, yeah, it needs to come out. With sometimes with uh, eyebrow piercings, they can kind of be more of a temporary piercing, especially if they migrate. Um, and if you don't have much skin there, it's very, very common that it can happen. Um, so I have a little bit less eyebrow hair on that side. So no, don't make fun of me. Take me seriously. I personally don't think that Jeff or Slender has these type of eyebrows, but to be honest with you, I think they should. Uh, excluding Slender because he has no eyebrows, but it's fine. I feel like Jeff would look good with these kind of very straight eyebrows. There's been a lot of Jeff activity on my channel here lately, especially my socials. You guys asked me on Twitter to draw. First, let me say this. In case you all don't know, I'm a digital artist. Let me fix this real quick because <laughs> there's no you in this moving. Okay. Back to the video. Anyway, um, if you, in case you guys don't know, I'm actually a digital artist and I mentioned it a little bit and you guys were like, oh, can you draw Jeff the Killer with a cowboy hat? So um, yeah, I created this cursed ass picture of Jeff the Killer with a cowboy hat and it was possibly the most catastrophic piece of shit I think I've ever drawn in my life. You guys still found him attractive, which is weird. Um, I don't know how many times I've called y'all out on, on finding Jeff the Killer attractive. And, and y'all still don't, like, eh, I don't know, he's pretty hot. Like, I, okay, I get it. I, I feel ya, I do, but like, are y'all okay? Like, do, do you need, listen. <laughs> do you need like, a shoulder to cry out? That's what I'm here for, okay? Listen, no matter how big I get, I'm always here for you guys, okay? And, and if you have a Jeff obsession, I can try and help. I'm not no therapist, but I can help. So in the midst of me not shutting the hell up, I forgot to put concealer on my eyeballs, but it, you know what, it's fine because it's just fine. 
it's, it's not a problem. There's no turning back now. I already did it. So much like these videos, I just wing it. I just like, I just go with it. I just like, okay, well, you know, whatever, whatever my brain, my medicated brain thinks that this is gonna look good. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's what we're doing now. I feel like, I feel like there should be some red in there. I feel like, you know, Slender with the red tie and Jeff the Killer, come on. I feel like there's gotta be some red in there. So I'm going to take my totally cleaned my brushes here. See, they're so clean. What I like most about this, the that company's palettes, I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the company, so I'm very sorry. Um, I have very hooded eyes, very hooded eyes, and I hate them, but this eyeshadow does not like rub off on the hood, and that's really nice. It may a little bit, if it's like a really hot day or something, but generally, it's pretty good. And for the price, you just, you cannot beat it. Okay, we got some red going on. Now I don't know what to do next. <laughs> I forgot to record uh, because I went to go get a drink and my narcotic induced brain started just slapping on fucking eyeshadow and I forgot to record. Okay, I didn't really do much off camera. I just, because of my hooded eyes, I just uh, moved some of that eyeshadow upward and placed a lot of the pigment on my hood. But as you can see, when I have my eye, my eyes rested, you can't even see any of that. So I just moved it up. A little bit so you could see the shadow you know what i'm saying so sorry about that also insinuated the eye bags which are not that hard for me thank you i i'm so glad that that's kind of a trend though i'm gonna be honest okay now i'm thinking this is a casual slenderman jeff the killer look i want to do some shadow not i wouldn't say eyeliner but like some kind of like bold-ish shadow something. I don't know. Wait, we're gonna get, we're gonna get one of these flat brushes and, and we're gonna play with it and we're gonna see what happens. We're not gonna play with the brush. We're gonna play with the makeup. We play with the brush. It's kind of weird and it defeats the purpose of this video and why you clicked on it to watch this content. I hope you're enjoying this content. I worked very hard. Say you fucking like it. I'm kidding. I'm not threatening you. I'm just guaranteeing you. Guaranteeing. Guaranteeing. There is a little bit of fallout with this eyeshadow. I know I keep talking it up. I'm sorry. This is my last thing uh, with mentioning it. There is a little bit of fallout with some of the colors, like the reds. Uh, the blues, like, don't do it at all. Uh, the greens do it pretty bad. Um, but overall, like, still, small price to pay. I don't know if we should go out straight or go up. I feel like we should go up. I feel like that would look good. Okay, let's go up. I'm gonna start with the problem eye first. It's really embarrassing, but this eye is actually like more hooded than this one. And I always start with this one because there's a lot of looks that I've done over here. And then I try to do it over here and it doesn't fit because this one is more hooded. Why was I created this way? God damn it. <laughs> this is what I, son of a bitch. This is what I get for trying to get close to the camera. I'm so sorry for the camera angle. I am trying y'all. I am literally trying. I, I just do not have the funds to get a better camera set up and I'm so sorry. What I have been doing is that uh, the awesome puppet patrons on my Patreon, um, you guys help me get my ring light, which is what I'm using now. Um, and when I get paid from you guys once again, um, I'm going to try and get me a green screen because I've been wanting to get one and I need one so bad. Fucking do it. Did I fix it? I fi <laughs> Bro, I fixed it. <laughs> the hardest thing about having hooded eyes is this. Like I'll be, you know, doing my eyeliner and then I'll do this and I'm like, that's not what I wanted. It's so annoying though. I, I hate it. If I ever get like Uga Ridge, I'm gonna get the, um, the, I want the surgery where they do the thing where they make you not have hooded eyes. And I just, I envy people that can afford that. 
like, I don't know, maybe it's the body dysmorphia, but I love other people with hooded eyes. Like, I'll watch on TikTok, you know, the creators that have hooded eyes and they're making, like, makeup tutorials. Love those people. They're beautiful. But I hate them on me. I don't know why. It's just it's that dysmorphia, you guys. So what I'm trying to kind of do here is I'm trying to do kind of this make my eyes look a little bit bigger for jeff -fa purposes. But at the same time, I just feel like I just feel, I, I don't know. Well, okay. See what I'm talking about though? Lift the eye up, put it down. It's like, what is that? All right, I'm going to do some shaping and then I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. Okay, no matter what I do, um, it will not be even. And guess what? I don't really care. So um, yeah, I'm going to just kinda, uh, we're gonna roll with it. And if you guys saw, guys saw, blah, 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 blah. if you guys got something to say about it, then you can suck this makeup brush with the pigment on it. This is why I hate hooded eyes, okay? On me. I love hooded eyes on other people. I hate them on me. They suck, mine suck so bad. <laughs> it's not even, um, but it's okay. We're gonna work with it. And if we have to, we'll tweak it and tweak it and tweak it and tweak it and tweak it until it looks even enough because I'm going out in public this way. But you see what I'm saying? It's a little bit, it's okay. I do like the way it makes my eyes look though. It makes my eyes look a lot bigger. I absolutely hate that about myself. My eyes, they're so tiny. They're so, it's like, I don't have any makeup on. It's like, I have these tiny little eyes. <laughs> I look like a little opossum. <laughs> it, it looks, you can, it looks good when I have my eyes idle. When I have them up, it still looks good, but when I have them down, it gives them kind of that little cat eye shape and I really like it. So I'm just going to kind of mess with the bottom here with that. Ooh, I like, I like a lot. I just realized this is like a flushable wipe. I don't use makeup wipes. Well, too late now. <laughs> Off the bat, um, maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe it's uh, the medication, I don't know. I'm not really getting Jeff or Slender vibes yet. I feel like we're gonna have to mess with this a little bit, but hey, even if we don't, that's fine. That is okay. So I'm just, I put some eyeliner right there. That way I can make the line a lot more defined. I feel stupid because I actually have makeup cape that I bought and I am not using it. And I probably should have for this look because it would have made it look really nice and really even. So, um, like I said, I'm not a review channel, but if you guys are like me and you have hooded eyes and you are tired of eyeliner just not being what eyeliner should be and sweating off or rubbing off, or hell, maybe you don't have hooded eyes and you just have those issues. I'm probably really late to the party on this, but I have found, I, I have bought probably a whole year's salary worth of just eyeliner, trying to find the right one that actually stays where you put, put it. And to my surprise, everybody is right, the NYX uh, Epic Wear liner, get it. You'll love me forever. If you were also late to this party and you were not aware how great that, that was and nobody told you, you're welcome. My cash app will be, I'm kidding. I'm not putting my cash app in this. No. What I like to do is I like to like seal it with like black eyeshadow. Especially since I'm wanting to go for kind of like a fade got to seal your eyeshadow. 
or your eyeliner. Why did I say that? Why do you guys watch my videos? Like, you know, I was, I was, there's this one YouTuber that I watch. He's not getting free advertising, so I'm just gonna call him Bob. Um, he got, his channel is, uh, like, my channel's like, what, like, five, six years old, something like that? I don't know. Um, if you want to put my whole time at, in YouTube, it's way older than that, but Puppet Strings as a sit is pretty, you know, it's getting up there in age. Um, he got to one and a half million subscribers in a year of his channel, and I'm like, son of a bitch. But, you know, the way I look at it is you guys are entirely organic, and you guys have stuck through forever. And um, not many people can say that, not many YouTubers can say that they have a community that you know, has stuck for that long and they are, the numbers have pretty much been unchanged in their analytics. Cause you guys are so freaking loyal. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time it's like, even if it's a huge YouTuber. Ooh, I got one for you. How about social repose? Like I know he did a lot of crazy shit, but look at the shit that he did before the whole scandal. Like he would just lose subscribers in droves for like no reason, you know? And I'm so, you guys don't know how appreciative I am that you guys are the opposite of that. I've always been very appreciative of that. Plus I don't ever want to become the type of YouTuber where I like talk you guys up and like, I love you guys so much. And you could show your love for me. Here's my merch. No, like I might sell merch one day, but I'm not going to deliver it like that the eyebrows back to where they are supposed to be. This, this look has been pretty simple so far, which is good. Sometimes simple looks are the best. It looks kind of like my Valentine's Day um, look. If you guys, my Tin Fex but Jane the Killer. Um, that look took, I know it doesn't seem like it, but that look took me like two hours. And then when I went on camera, I was like, Oh my God, it looks like shit. but you know, it's fine. Sometimes, you know, I've been, for years, I've been really uh, debating on showing my face. You know, at, the, at first of my channel, I was really afraid of showing my face in public. Now I don't really give a shit. What are you guys gonna do? Because if you met me in real life, you probably wouldn't wanna get to know me. No, no, I keep using fingers and they don't work. I want a refund on the fingers. Don't let my uh, my really shitty technique fool ya. The makeup's actually really good. They're good products. God damn it, I just suck at it. I am no Nikki Tutorials though. Absolutely not. Are we done with the eyes? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. We're done for now. I might mess with them later, but for now, we are going to move on. You guys remember at the beginning of the video where I had put some of that green pigment, we're gonna do it again because it's kinda, well not the green pigment, I am going to put the uh, under eye pigment back on though. That is the wrong brush, what am I doing? Okay. You know, you would think that with my technique in real life, I'd be looking crusty as fuck, but you know what? I'm actually gonna brag on myself once in a while. It actually looks pretty good in real life when I do my makeup. Like when I seriously, like off camera, you guys see my pictures on Instagram when I do makeup and it's like off camera, you see that it looks pretty good. Now occasionally I do use filters, but I do not use the face changing filters. Like if I'm gonna, I'll, I'll sit there for like a good 30 minutes before I take a picture for Instagram or Twitter or you know, whatever I'm doing uh, to put out to you guys. Um, and I'll sit there for like a good 30 minutes making sure, looking through filters, making sure that it just changes kind of the way the lighting looks and not my face. I don't like using that stuff. Cause it's like, one, it's kind of embarrassing. Cause it's like, you guys know what my 
face looks like and just imagining how confused you would be. I, I used to never be that girl where if you rub your forehead, your eyebrows would come up. Now I'm that girl. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm that girl now. Go Baker, go home, right? <coughs> now you guys saw, um, if, if you didn't, that's fine. I just don't take offense to it at all. Um, on my TikTok, I, I, I have bought KVD's Good Apple Foundation multiple times trying to find my freaking shade. When it first came out, it was sold out because everybody made it so popular. So, and I understand why it's popular, but if you do not get your right shade in this, it looks horrible. I, I tried getting the second to the lightest shade and I look like Donald Trump. Uh, so I bought this one. And thankfully it also came with its concealer. Um, which I got lighter, of course. Um, and I try to get you guys' opinions. I haven't gotten much of a response in my comments, but I feel like it looks pretty good. It looks really good in real life. Um, my husband actually, I told him how does my makeup look and he was like wearing makeup. He had no idea. I just put on my foundation. Uh, so yeah, I was pretty, I was pretty happy with that. And this is a type of product that less is more. It 100% is. If you need more, go and get more. Do not assume. Both a brush and a dampened beauty blender, which is what I'm using now, I feel like the beauty blender works better for my skin. Um, I have horribly, disgustingly dry skin. And uh, I found some new products that have helped my skin, but still, um, if I do not put on about four or five pounds of, of moisturizer, my skin will flake the minute, the minute I dry my face off from cleansing. My skin is that dry. It flakes really bad. It stands the reason that a brush does kind of I, I guess help the flaking process. Sometimes the sponge makes it worse. Sometimes it doesn't. It's it's just really hard to hard to pinpoint. And if you have really dry skin, then you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. The shade does look kind of light. It really does. I would rather match my neck and be too light than I would look like Donald Trump or you know have a deeper skin tone that actually isn't my skin tone. And this is their lightest shade and I'm fine with it honestly I am okay with being a little lighter I am amazed at how well it does like fit my fit my neck like I've that's especially one thing I've never been able to find is a foundation that fits my neck um, more often than not I just I've tried foundations with neutral undertones, red undertones, yellow obviously doesn't work, um, and it just, it never fits, it never fits, and this is honestly probably the best one that I've found so far, and even it is, you know, it doesn't fit perfectly, but it, it doesn't look bad. All right, so we're mostly covered. We do need a little bit more. Not much, though. Very, very, very little. Okay, we're pretty, pretty nicely blended. That to me, that looks a lot better than uh, the last couple of videos. You know, I do feel like it looks better. Now, this is kind of optional, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I have two uh, powders. I have one that is KVD's translucent powder, and then I have this NYX powder. It looks definitely not my shade, but it's not as pigmented as you would think. So like, I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna use a brush. It just adds the tiniest, itty bittiest amount of color. Enough to not make me look like a corpse. I do use powder everywhere. I know that it is really drying. I am under, I am under the impression of that and I have dry skin. So all of you makeup artists can, can, can delete the paragraph. I understand that. But I don't really like luminous foundation on myself. And I have quite a few fine lines. So I need something to settle in to these last lines especially. 
We're gonna go in with concealer. Now, um, like I said, I kind of feel like Jeff and Slender put together would have eye bags. So I'm not really gonna conceal my eye bags to be honest with you, but I am gonna do highlight areas. I do find I've been using KVD for a very long time. Um, I do find that her liquid stuff works really well with a brush. Uh, not that it doesn't work well with a sponge, but stuff like her Good Apple, I, it just doesn't look good with a brush on me. It may look good on you, but um, in my personal experience with someone who has very dry skin, um, some of her products are kind of drying. Some of it is, to be honest. I don't think actually Kat Von D is involved with KVD Beauty anymore, so I don't know why I'm saying some of her products. Yet again, another thing that's showing my age. Open, please. It doesn't even want to open, even it's telling me to. I've used teeth, it's not working. God. Oh. We are not going to talk about what I just went through because I'm stupid. It, it's not a pulley, it's a pushy. Okay. <laughs> I'm just stupid. Gotcha. Now, when I was uh, younger, I would never, never use contour because I could not find anything that fit me, that looked okay. And so I'm just using this palette yet again. I'm using this color. Um, I guess you could also use this one. It's it's uh, marketed as a, a concealer. It's not marketed as a contour color. Um, but I'm but I use this typically. Um, and at first, it doesn't look like it would be good. But it's actually not that bad. I'm I'm entirely in the dark with contour because. I grew up in an age where you used the the foundation mousse and you just went with crayon eyeliner and you're done. Like that was it. That that was it. I have a double chin, so I just kind of I just curve all that stress weight and all that kimchi out of my chin. Kimchi is the nectar of the goddamn gods, and anybody who doesn't agree with me can suck this one, can suck this makeup brush, because you guys don't know what you're missing. Kimchi is godly. You know what's funny is I'm an absolute hypocrite because I'll sit there and go, I don't like luminous foundation and slap a hundred pounds of goddamn highlighter on my face. Like, I, I want to look like a fairy threw up all over me. Why do you guys never call me on my bull? You just, you just let me do it. You, you, I'll see you guys all the time on Twitter. You're like, oh, Puppet Strings, what are you doing today? And I'll say something so fucking stupid. You're like, I'm, uh, I'm at a, at a banana BDSM party and you guys are like, oh, that's cool. Um, I took my dog to the dog park. You guys do not hold me accountable. I don't know why. I think you guys are just that sweet. You, you just... Oh, she's doing her shit again. Oh, you guys are just that nice. I know not all y'all know that I have schizophrenia, so it's not like you're, you know, trying to be nice in that way. You guys are just sweet. Like, <laughs> there is no other explanation. You guys are just nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so not used to that. Why is my eyebrow like this? Why does this eyebrow test me? Stop testing me. All right, guys. I like it. I like the look. It's simple. It's... <laughs> it's simple. It's... I feel like it's pretty casual. I like it. We're gonna, um... We're gonna mess with the lips a little bit. I don't, I don't know what I want to do with them, though. I don't know, but we need to define them a little bit. Like, 
but not much. I don't think they need like overboard. See, like not crazy. I, I feel like it makes the look a little bit. Am I right? Well, actually, we're not done with the look yet. We got a little bit more to go because I just realized we need lashes. I'm gonna do this off camera because the last time I did it, um, I looked like a damn ass hat putting it, putting it on. So um, yeah, I'll be right back. Lashes really do fix everything, don't they? Anyway, um, I like this look a lot. Uh, the lashes just made it look so good. Like my eyes look huge and I am living for that. The bigger my eyes can look, the better. Um, I, I don't know, it doesn't, like still, I'm kind of disappointed because it doesn't give me super duper like Jeff vibes. It does give me a little bit of Slender vibes and I think it's just because it looks very, it looks very, what's the word I'm looking for, elegant. It looks very just pretty, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would, I would legitimately just do this look just, just for myself, just going out in town, which I am, so this is perfect. Um, I think overall, I would give this like a nine and a half out of 10. I really do. I honestly really do. For, now I, I'm gonna do two things here. Nine and a half out of 10 personal wise, but I'm gonna say like a 6.8 pasta wise, cause it just doesn't, it just doesn't give me that, you know, kind of vibe. But what do you guys think? Do you think it does? Do you think it gives you that kind of pasta vibe? If not, what do you think I could have done differently? You know, something like that. But anyway, I took some pictures. So I've probably, editing puppet strings has probably part, put it up on the screen already. But if I have not, then I will. So it'll, it'll pop up eventually, just wait for it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.